Alright, gonna show you the pre-Islamic pagan origins of the crescent moon symbol that Islam has adopted. Gonna show examples of pre-Islamic religious artifacts from the Middle East that use the same crescent moon symbol with the star in it that the Muslims adopted. Because Islam is essentially just pagan Middle Eastern religion repackaged. So gonna show the pictures. So here is the first picture of, I think this is from Mesopotamia, where you have the moon symbol and then you have the sun, the star, right in the middle of the moon. Right in, in front of the moon, basically. You know, same thing as Islam. They have that same exact symbol. Then you got the the uh, lotuses, which, you know, obviously come from Hinduism, which is a whole other issue. But you got that symbol right there, the moon with the star in the middle. In this case, it's the sun. And you got the occult significance of the face on it as well. Here is from uh, Greco-Roman, I believe this is Greco-Roman, religion from the Middle East too, which goes and expands into the Middle East, where you have these deities, and then you have, um, actually I think this is Babylonian, I, I, my mistake, I think it's Babylonian, where you have the moon symbol with the star right in front of it. Then you have the gods, and then you have Allah standing right there, the pre-Islamic version of Allah. Because Allah, he's basically just a Middle Eastern moon god that the Muslims adopted. But then you have that same uh, crescent moon symbol. It just, Satan just simply repackaged it into Islam. Here's another picture of, I think this is about, again, this is Babylonian, where you have the moon, then you got the two stars right there. Again, you see the Muslims have taken this symbol and made it the symbol of Islam. Now, some Muslims will say, well, we don't have symbols. Well, Islamic countries like Turkey and Pakistan have that symbol on their flag, which is a whole other issue. But the, the pagan significance of the star in front of the moon. You see, Satan's real old. He just repack. He, he Satan cannot come up come up with original ideas anymore. He just repackages stuff. Here is something from Mesopotamia, where you got the moon god of Mesopotamia with the moon right on top of him. Then you got this, uh, uh, you call it a pole or a, or a basically a pillar with the moon right there. And then you have again the crescent moon because it's not just the around moon; it's always a crescent moon symbol. Because the pagan significance of that crescent moon symbol in religious iconography. Now here you actually have a picture of Allah before Islam was invented by Muhammad under the influence of Roman Catholic monks, by the way, uh, which is a whole other issue. The Jesuit, uh, sorry, not the Jesuit, the Catholic Vatican creation that it is that is Islam. But they got this is a Hubal from uh, I think it was from Palestine, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, and he is this is what Allah looked like before Muhammad started Islam. You see, when Muhammad started Islam, he simply took, he basically got rid of the other Middle Eastern gods, but kept one of them, Allah, and made him the god of Islam. Hence why the Arabians were so willing to accept Islam, because Allah was not a foreign god to them. Allah was already a god they worshipped as a lunar deity. Here is another peg in Middle Eastern, uh, again, this is Mesopotamia, of they have the moon, they have the moon, crescent moon, with the sun right in front of it. The sun and the moon separating the, the night from the day, you know, lightness and dark. The Luciferian significance of that is pretty strong. Now here's the final picture I'm going to show of, again, this ancient Middle Eastern Mesopotamian art. And then again, you have the moon, the crescent moon, that, with the star right in front of it. Then you have, of course, the moon god of Mesopotamia right there, which is, again, symbolized by Allah today, the god of Islam, Allah. You see, again, Satan's real old. He simply repackaged the uh, pagan Middle Eastern religions from Mesopotamia, from Arabia, from you know other places, from the, from the uh, parts of Israel, the Canaanite religion, and made them into Islam. And that's what Muhammad did. Just like how Roman Catholicism is pagan Greco-Roman religion repackaged, Satan can just repackage stuff. And Islam is simply repackaging a Middle Eastern paganism and Old Testament truth. Just as Roman Catholicism is a repackaging of Greco-Roman heathen religion and New Testament truth. New Testament Christianity. So there you have some examples of the pagan significance of the crescent moon symbol, crescent moon symbol with the star in front of it. You see, that's what Islam is. It's just a repackaging of pagan Middle Eastern religion. That's all that Muhammad was. That's all that Allah is. He's a Middle Eastern moon deity, a Middle Eastern lunar god that the Muslims worship as the god of Islam. That's all it is. It is satanic. Don't be deceived by Islam. Uh, it is a false religion. It is from, from Satan, essentially. It's, Satan. it's one of Satan's counterfeits to biblical Christianity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. 
Goodbye.